Okay, so RetroPie 4.6 has been officially released for Raspberry Pi 4. It is still listed as a beta version, um, but it does work very well. Um, there's been a lot of improvements. If you go through, there's a list of all the improvements. I'll put a link in the description. So changes since 4.5, there is an awful lot of things in there uh, that they've changed, which is really nice to see. The things that do work well, so let's go to PlayStation works very well on it. I've been playing several games on it. Uh, actually, I haven't tried Driver yet. Uh, let's have a look at that. Now, I somehow changed the uh, the size of the font of the DOS things that happen in the background, but I actually kind of like it because it comes up really quite big. So this was a game that came out before GTA was in 3D, and at the time, it, it really was uh, just so impressive. Or the first Driver uh, was so impressive when it first came out. I can't remember. I'm sure I played this. I think this one you could get out the car. Oh, let's just take a ride. Let's go to Havana. Just remember this having really nice handling, so very loose, sort of very uh, rear wheel drive handling, but just, just really pleasant to drive around uh, a big city. So we've got look left and right, that works fine. Accelerate, it's A on this. Oh, and it uses the digital pad. Oh, that's a great start. Now obviously on more powerful systems you can make PlayStation look incredible. People have been showing it at, uh, at much higher resolutions with sort of skins on it which makes it make it look very smooth. But I actually kind of, I kind of like the sort of retro feel of the old PlayStation graphics. Uh, and they had some great 3D games. Brakes are good in this. So you can see no issues with performance there. Oh, police. Oh, might as well. Might as well have a little chase. Losing down this side street. Oh, they're, they're good. Oh! <laughs> Where are they? Oh, he's stuck there. <laughs> Let's try and lose him by getting in between these. And around this one. No, that didn't work. Camper van. So can I get out? Or maybe I can't win the play. <laughs> Whoa. There you go, some good physics on this. Right, so let's quit out of that. And what else have we got? I wasn't gonna do that. I wasn't gonna do that. I was gonna do some arcade. Yeah, so two bin. Uh, this had really weird controls in the arcade. I was trying to remember what it was like, but it doesn't work with the controller. Uh, but I did find that the A and D button seemed to work. Oh. What's happened there? So let's press and hold and use a different emulator. I think I used, oh no, I think I used MAME 2003 and the ROM, I think I used as MAME 2003. Yeah, here we go that. So I've only got two buttons, but you can see. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the arcade game was like. I must, I'll try and find a picture. Oh. But it works fine with two buttons. You just got a left and right, and you can do left and right at the same time. Oh, oh no! There you go. So you get the idea. And I also tried uh, Punch Out yesterday, which I remember being really good. Now this, I had to change the one that the launcher because the first, the main 2003, it came up with the character had. Uh, oh, it didn't look good at all. But I think this looked all right in the end. You can see it's in a portrait mode. So let's pop some coins in with the select button, and then hit start. Oh, A is start. Um, uh, this used to be so loud in the arcade on a really big cabinet. I used to play it down in Newquay, and it was great. And of course, I had all the Spectrum versions and things. I've got the buttons now. So you've got guard up and guard down. Oh, he's going to... Oh, I might have him now. No, I haven't. <laughs> I can't. I can't be this guy. I had an alpha cut yesterday. I don't know how I did that. Oh, he's down. Anyway, so that's arcade working very well. So let's try Road Rash on the Game Boy Advance. I tried this yesterday, and uh, actually, 
most driving games for the Game Boy Advance I didn't think were that great. Uh, it was a little bit underpowered for racing games. But this one's very playable. There we go, so we've got the A button is weapon. But it feels, oh. <laughs> Good start. Oh, let's get some coins. Oh, it's really hard to get over those coins. I think it's just the element of being able to... I used to like this on the Mega Drive. I think it was Road Rash 2 on the Mega Drive was good. So anyway, I thought that ran quite well. Yeah, N64 and uh, Centre Court Tennis. So N64 is a tricky one to emulate for, and uh, it's still not quite there yet on some of the other games. So I often try Excite Bike and Destruction Derby 64, and uh, both of those a little bit faster than I've tried on some previous systems, but still not, still not there yet. See all the menus work nice and fast. And with N64, it really does depend on the game. Some games do run really quite well, other games not so good. Oh, nice, nice start. Oh. Double fault. Right. That's better. That's better. So you can see from a speed point of view, this seems to run fine. It's obviously a very easy level. So let's just show uh, Destruction Dart. Actually, I tried a different ROM. Uh, I put a different version of this from Damaso's build, so I'm going to see if that works better. And I haven't played around with much with the settings. So you can hear the audio is a bit weird. And it's, I've noticed that it, it has a real issue with uh, like sort of uh, particle effects or mist or something like that. So once you get past this, You'll see what I mean. So it's really slow, obviously, at the moment. Uh, and it slows down when you get certain effects and things like smoke and things like that. But once I get into this tunnel, you'll see that it starts to, it starts to move. Next tunnel. Yeah, it's already started to speed up that. That's nice. But then it slows down again when you get outside, so it's it, it's to do with the environment. But then it it slows down really badly when you get uh, the sun. I think it comes up about yeah. Look, just can't handle it. And I tried it at different resolutions, and it was still the same. So, but I I haven't found anything that that played this well on the Pi Four. You see, it, once again, the speed returns. So whether you can disable some of those uh, effects. Because it's yeah running running really quite nicely now, and those cars really come at you fast. Oh, and then it goes slow down again. And let's just last one. I did Spider Man in another video, but it seemed to it remembered the save, uh, and so I played it a little bit more. And it, it was quite nice to play actually. Not so great for looking around. I can't believe they shot down those police choppers. Yeah, just my luck. I'll probably get blamed for that too. Here we go, so we've got to follow that sort of arrow. What have we got here, that? I'm already at full health. Oh, it won't help this time then. I bet I can get into the bank through the top of this building. Cat was right. It's the Oh there we go, a lot of guys down there, that. But this runs really well. So no issue with this. What have I got to do? Can I get up above them? Oh. oh, two of them at the same time then. That was nice. And I've got... <laughs> there you go, so Spider-Man working well. Yeah, so RetroPie 4.6, uh, impressed with it. It's it's running fine. It's certainly more stable and better than the last version. I prefer the Supreme Pro build at the moment because there's so much more content in there. 
uh, this guy wasn't aware that we were fighting just now. Look. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can install the Dreamcast emulator into this because Rycast I think was working fine. Uh, or even Redream if, if that's available. But uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.